Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this edition of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at Philippians chapter 3. Righteous through faith in Christ. Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is not trouble to me and is safe for you. Look out for the dogs. Look out for the evildoers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. For we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit and God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in flesh. Though I myself have reason for confidence in flesh, also, if anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to the righteous under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. The righteousness from God that deepens our faith that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and may share his sufferings, becoming like him in death, that by any means possible I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Straining toward the goal. Not that I have already obtained this or am ready to be perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus had made it his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it on my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Let those of us who are mature think this way, and if anything you think otherwise, God will reveal that also to you. Only let us hold true to what we have attained. Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you, and now to tell you even with tears, walks as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is in their belly, and their glory in their shame, with minds set on earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And from it we await our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. So in the first part of this chapter, this is Paul um, talking about who he is. So he was a Pharisee before he met Jesus and came to the realization of who Christ Jesus is. So before all this, he was bound by the law and he followed the law. And that's what he's saying. In the eyes of the law, he was good. But in the eyes of Christ, he was not. So in this, he shows that now that he is under the law of faith in Christ Jesus, that everything he did as a Pharisee was nothing. And that's the same thing with us. All the good deeds and all the great things that we do. There's a passage in the Bible that says it's filthy rags. We'll never be able to be clean while we're on this earth. And we can try, but we'll never live up to what Jesus did or who he was. But through Christ, we can do all things. So we can become better people and become closer to Christ while on earth. 
And then it shows that in the next part of the chapter that we should be striving every day to become better people and be good and to do good things through Christ. Because without Christ, we can do nothing. But with Christ, we can accomplish great things. Now, we won't be perfect until we are with Christ in heaven. And that's when we'll be transformed into perfect beings without sin. So if you have anybody that ever claims that they don't sin on earth, they're lying to you. Because the Bible says that we're not perfect until we leave this earth. So just know, if you're struggling with sin, there is hope. You can, you can defeat sin if you just follow Christ. But know that if you, if you make a mistake or struggle, Christ forgives you. This does not give you the freedom to sin, but it, it's there so you know that you are forgiven. Because we know that we are still in the flesh, but we do have the spirit within us to guide us every day. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We'll be starting on chapter two next.